Aloha, this is Rick with Maui Kite Speech Report for Saturday. And this is a week in review for all you guys on Kite Site. All right, this week we've had a really lot of wind. Uh, it's been blowing in the 30s every day of the week. Bring your small kites down if you're coming to the island. Don't forget that it gets really windy here, and a 9 is not a small kite. A 6 and a 7 is. Uh, the weather looks perfect. Um, the surf, there's a little bit of surf right out the back. It's probably about 2 to 4 feet, a little north direction. Waihu, if you want a little bit more, pick up of that east swell. Overall, it's a beautiful week, and we have win, win, win again. Aloha and good luck. Thanks, Rick. When you go to Maui, get your daily update from MauiKiteBeachReport.com. If you would like the KiteSites.com series to highlight any blog, event, or product related to wind sports, get in touch with us. This is uh, Kite Beach, Maui. This is a uh, pretty famous uh, part of Hawaii, uh, especially for kite boarders. It's a mecca for kite boarders from all over the world. You know, if you've never been to Maui, you've got to come to Kite Beach. Just do yourself a favor, come out for a vacation, a short trip, and just to say you've kited Maui. But don't expect to be at the same level you were where you're at home. There's a thing called the Maui Factor, and it means you're really going to take like one step back because you have the open ocean, you have the strong wind, you know, you're going to have to get used to those conditions and then you'll probably have the experience of a lifetime. So they call it the pro pool. It's where you go and pull your best tricks, whatever you got. You know, it's nice and buttery so you can come in off the outside chop and set up for your trick and pull it inside and land on some butter flat, make your way back out. And if you've ever watched a kiteboarding video, chances are uh, part of the footage was shot right here behind me. All the old school guys would come down and that's where they pull in and do their best tricks and either get heckled off or cheered on. Great place to learn, yeah. You gotta get a good teacher, but you know, you go up to Nash Beach, or you go up to uh, Euro Beach, it's nice because you always end up down here the, at Kite Beach and then an easy landing and a little bit of a walk back up. Learning to fly in Maui or learning to kite in Maui is maybe a little harder than in some places, but it's worth it because. The conditions are consistent here. We get to fly every day, practically. If you live here, you have to take a break from the kiteboarding, for sure. I want to see the world Like birds can see I want to fly so
Summertime, we call it the 100 days of summer. It doesn't stop blowing usually. It gets a lot of wind. It's a very reliable kiteboarding spot. We've been teaching kiting 13 years now. Instructors here really know how to teach. We have adapted kites. We use smaller kites than maybe schools in the mainland. You'll learn about safety and the right equipment for this wind. We have kites um, from small sizes, from three meters up. We use short lines. You know, we start at four meters on a three meter kite. And they'll keep your kite from ending up here. One day old kite, they just put it up, they pumped it up, they didn't take the lessons, they thought they knew what they were doing. Lessons are highly recommended. Come on down, get some lessons from me. I'll teach you how to kite if you're a newbie. You know, I see all you guys on Kite Forum all the time and your side as well, kind of asking questions. Dudes, girls, take a lesson. For God's sake, learn the sport. It's such a bitchy sport. Well, it's so fun, you'll probably want to quit your day job. flat water along the Oregon coast. We'll take you there. Stay with the KiteSize.com series.